Relatives wept on the shore of Democratic Republic of Congo's Lake Kivu on Thursday as victims of a major drowning disaster were placed in body bags and carried away. Dozens died, at least 78 according to a provincial governor, when a packed passenger boat capsized. It was not clear how many were still missing and regional officials gave contrasting death tolls. There have been survivors, some brought to this local hospital, but the boat was said to be carrying 278 passengers, meaning many remain unaccounted for. Suzanne Musafiri said she had been traveling with her entire extended family. She describes how a strong wave capsized the boat, throwing everyone into the water. I don't know whether others are, she said, or if they are alive, dead or injured, adding, but now I'm all alone. Deadly boat accidents are common in Congolese waters. Vessels are frequently loaded beyond their capacity. The governor of North Kivu province said the boat capsized 700 meters from port and that the causes are being investigated. Some relatives of the deceased say the government is to blame. Congo's military has been battling rebels here in the country's east. And at the lakeside, while some relatives sobbed, others were loudly shouting. They say authorities have allowed the insurgency to cut off roads and that that has led to more overcrowding on the boats. <laughs> Musha Gulwa Bianfe lost three family members in the disaster. He says when the road route was open, such catastrophes didn't happen.